Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock to your studio and today I'm sharing with you a art journal page I made in my tab journal which I made a while ago and uh, not that long. I'll put a link in the iCard so that you can go and watch the video of how I made this uh, journal if you'd like to. Uh, it's made out of, out of recycled cardboard and uh, tissue paper and gesso <laughs> and washi tape. So um, I am inspired today by the Art Joy of Sharing Face Group Art Community's mood board. At the beginning of each month over in the art community on Facebook, either Peg or I post a mood board. And a mood board is just something that is supposed to give you inspiration for a project. It could be any kind of project. It could be an art journal page. It could be a, a canvas. It could be an ATC or a tag. You can make whatever you want with the inspiration and you don't have to go literal with it either. You could be inspired by one, one of the photos. You could be inspired by um, just the general feel of it. You could be inspired by the colors. Uh, today my inspired page is very literal to what was on the mood board. There's some rainy scenes with umbrellas and I actually end up using a photo right out of the mood board which is the little pug in a rain jacket right on the page. I mean it's it's literal. I use the colors, I use the images, um, but it doesn't have to be like that. Say you just like the blue flowers and you want to make blue flowers. That's an inspiration. Say you just want to make something abstract with the colors of gray and blue and yellow like the mood board. Say you're inspired by just the rectangle shapes on the shower or the rectangle on the building in the middle. Or maybe you're inspired by the clouds. It's absolutely up to you what you take from this this mood board. It's just for your uh, use. You can print it out. You can just look at it online. But what we would like is that you, you when you make something with it, that you post it in the group, in both in the group and in the folder for the mood board inspiration pieces that everyone has made in the group. Because we love to see them and we want everyone to share in the the art community Facebook group. If you haven't joined yet, there'll be a link in the show more below the video and you can click on that and ask to join. Just make sure that when you ask to join that you answer the questions that come up because we won't accept you if you don't answer the questions. We have to really be careful not to get people in there that are spamming the group or, or um, you know, self-promoting or selling um, that's not what the group's about. It's about sharing and helping others. So that's the kind of people we want in there. So today when I was filming this with my um, phone during the live stream, you know, we live stream every Thursday, but we also have been doing it on Monday as well because people are stuck at home and we want to entertain and inspire people. Um, my phone kept turning off. It kept overheating and turning off. So there'll be like breaks where you won't see every single thing in the video that had happened, but you can get the idea of what went on <laughs> when I was doing this. Uh, I used some images. Well, first I did the background with, uh, the background already had some blues and I used medium gray deco art paint to kind of fill in the areas that were white. I wanted it to feel moody and rainy and kind of a little bit dark and you know how a lot of us are feeling right now. And so I did that. Then I used a stencil girl stencil that's called Squares and Tris that um, has some lines and some dots. And I thought that they really reflected the lines of rain pouring down in April. You know, April showers brings May flowers. So we're looking out for the flowers next month when, when we'll all feel much happier. But um, I, I mixed, I guess the other thing I didn't tell you guys Today's idea, I'm using DecoArt Media Fluid Paint in only in the three primary colors, which is primary yellow, primary cyan, and primary magenta. Those are the three primary colors. You can mix any color from that. And then I have titanium white and carbon black to do shades and tints to mix with. And then I did use the medium gray because I figured it would, you know, just use the gray instead of mixing your own gray. I could have mixed black and white together and made my own gray if I really was going super, super minimalist, 
But I just, I wanted to show you guys that you can mix all the different colors and paint in acrylic without having every single color under the sun. You can make it yourself. So I did use the straight gray, but then I mixed the cyan and the titanium white to make kind of a sky blue and I stenciled with that with my sponge pouncer through the stencil and then I also uh, lightened it up even more and made another light blue so there's a couple different blues on there a sky blue and kind of a little bit dusty blue and then I did even add a few of the little flower print things in white after the fact so that was my background then I went to unsplash u n s p l a s h dot com that is where you can find royalty free photos the photos are for art inspiration you can use them in your projects and there's no royalties or fees or you won't get yourself sued <laughs> by using someone else's image so that's a place you can get them for free so i went to unsplash i printed out this little girl uh, with the umbrella and then uh, the the little dog. Actually, all the photos on the mood board are from the are from Unsplash as well. Because I'm not going to use an image that I'm afraid someone might get upset with me using. Photography is art too, and you don't want to use someone else's art. So, unless you have permission. So the little dog is from the mood board, and I just cut it right out of my printout. I glued those both down with Liquitex Matte Gel Medium, making sure everything was good and dry. And then the only other thing I'm doing on this page is I'm painting. And having the, the uh, images glued on there, no one will ever know they're under there because it's a very thin, you know, it's thin. You won't really notice that those papers have been glued on. It will just end up looking like a painting, which is what it is. I'm painting. But it saves me having to draw, which I don't mind drawing, but a lot of people do. I get comments constantly on my channel, I mean constantly, about people, oh, I wish I could draw like you, oh, I can't draw, I can't do this project because I can't draw. Well, you don't have to draw. You can trace, or you can do something like this, which is to just take the thing that you wanted and glue it down and then paint over the top. And it gives you all the lines, it gives you an idea of the shading. Um, I kind of tend to make it up myself. <laughs> Sometimes I change things. Uh, I want to stick with the blue the, and the, the yellow and the gray. I want, um, I want it to be those colors instead of the turquoise color that the whole photo was kind of tinted in. In fact, the girl's eyes were turquoise, uh, where the whites of her eyes should be. Uh, they must have been using a filter over their camera or something. I don't know. But the entire thing was a very teal, turquoise, Tiffany blue type color. Uh, and I wanted to take out all that color and use only true blue, true yellow. So as you can see, I've mixed a brown. I've mixed skin color. If you mix the three primary colors, primary cyan, primary yellow, and primary magenta together, you get brown or tan you get tan um, well you get brown and then you can make it darker by adding the carbon black or you can make it lighter by adding the titanium white so if you add a little bit of titanium white to your blend it will lighten it up into a skin tone and depending on you know the race of the person that you're that you're painting you might want it a little darker a little lighter you might want it more red you might want it more yellow uh, to make an olive tone person um, so that's just going to depend. It's all just mixing. And I, I got out a piece of palette paper so that you could see the mixing as I'm doing it. So that you could, because I'm, if I just use my palette plate that I normally use, there's so much color on there you wouldn't be able to see what the heck I was doing. So I'm mixing colors for highlight. I'm mixing colors for shadow. I'm mixing colors for the lips and the eyes and the everything. Um, I mix it all. I did switch from a regular acrylic handled brush to a water brush when I started to do the skin tones because the water in the bristles helps it blend better. So instead of having to continuously dip my, my brush in water, I prefer to use the water brush when I'm doing blendy blendy things like skin tones because 
I've got to get different colors in there. I've got to blend different colors, add different colors. I've got to have shadow color and highlight color and um, cheek color, you know. And all those are going to be different blends of those three colors plus white or black. Somewhere on my channel, I believe I have a video that explains how to blend skin colors. If I can find it, I will put it in the eye card. <laughs> um, I don't, there's no guarantee that I can find that. I know it exists, but I now have over 800, getting close to 900 videos on my channel. And I can't always remember what it's named. So it gets a little bit tricky sometimes. But I have a lot of videos where I've blended colors to make other colors. And now lots of times I will use water soluble things to do it. This time I'm using acrylic paint, which dries permanent. So then now I'm working on the umbrella. I changed the umbrella from a light turquoise color to yellow because I think it's fun with these two more dark colors, the blues and the grays, to have that little bit of highlight of yellow. And I wanted that to be prominent in my, my um, scene here. The little dog, the little pug has a yellow rain slicker on, but then the girl also has her yellow umbrella with blue polka dots to um, protect her from the gloomy rain that's pouring down. It's not cold, it's just wet and gloomy. <laughs> so I'm using that stencil again to make the dots. There's a couple different size dots on that stencil. It's a useful stencil, it has a lot of pattern on it. and Dots, oh, sorry about the yawn. <laughs> dots are, are like raindrops and then it has those, those uneven uh, vertical lines or they could be horizontal depending on which way you turn the stencil. Um, that, that gives the idea of the rain falling down in the background. So this page, the concept, very simple. The, the material list, very short. Um, I did put links to the materials in the description box below. You can click on those links. Um, some of them are affiliate links, which will give me a few cents. Most of them in this particular video are not because I used links to the direct places that you can buy these things. The deco art paint in particular is um, directly to the deco, deco art site. So then I put some shadows just so that the, the focal images stand out from the background because they were kind of blendy blendy a little bit and just wanted to make sure that everything was uh, standing out. We want to see the girl and the dog, not the background. And I'm adding some highlights with the titanium white here and there. Uh, just to make it more interesting, I did have to draw in part of the dog and part of the umbrella. I made sure that the dog had a little tail sticking up. <laughs> I thought that was funny. But anyway, this is what I did today, and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do use the mood board inspiration, remember to put your uh, photos of your artwork in the group and share with everyone else so that they can see what you did and uh, give you thumbs ups. And of course, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment or question below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bells if you haven't already. You can pin this on Pinterest. Share it on Facebook, anything that you want to do. Um, all those things help my channel by people being able to find me better and know that I make good content. So I think I'm just about done with this project. I ended up adding some blue spatters in the background just because it seemed a little bit plain still. I wanted something else. So I just mixed a little bit of that cyan paint with um, some water and splattered it. And I think it looks a lot better that way. And yeah, I think that's it for me. Close-ups are coming up next. Bye-bye. <laughs>